All right, today is Saturday, July 2nd. This is gonna be day one of our uh, increasing our pH experiment. So our current pH, we're gonna take a look at it here. Get back up here. We're gonna be adding straight oyster shell. We got about a pound or so of crushed oyster shell in here. And come on Wi-Fi. La 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 la. We have a current pH reading of about six or so. Where are we here? Current pH reading is going to be 5.3. So we are going to pop those oyster shells in there and we're going to monitor that over the next several days. So the goal is to get up to about 6.5 or so. So it is eight days later and we've still got our oyster shell in here. We'll mix this up a little bit. We have gotten our pH. Look at all that. That'll do something for the, that'll spike the pH. We have gotten the pH from about 5.3, I think we said last time, eight days ago on the second. Uh, Cause today is the 10th and we are up to about a, between 6.1 and 6.3 on the pH. So oyster shell is very effective and this is, um, probably about 500 gallons worth of water total. So if you need to get your pH up naturally and safely, this is a great way to do it. It hasn't been too hard, too fast. The fish are still doing fantastic, but that's where we are on our pH experiment right now. We're gonna let that sit in the barrel for maybe another week. We're gonna keep tabs on it. We don't want it to go above seven. We'll pull it at that point if it hits that high. Um, I've read that it won't get that high or that's where it'll stop, but we'll see. So follow along and we'll keep you posted soon. So we're finished with our pH test. And what we did is a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we put just oyster shell, crushed oyster shell in a mesh bag here. And we decided to just stick that in the water and let that dissolve on its own. And what that did is it helped to bring up our pH over the course of a couple weeks. And most of that was done in a week. We were down at less than, I'd say about 5.1, 5.2 at the beginning of the month. And we were up to about 6.1 after just the first week. So that was our biggest jump. Since then, it's been a very, very slow increase. We're getting about 6.35 on our one sensor that's submerged in the tank. We're gonna have to recalibrate that soon. The pH pen gave us about a 6.9 on, on a reading, and this is freshly calibrated. So um, between the two of them, you know, we are getting almost, well, it's a little more than a half a point difference between the two of them. So we definitely wanna calibrate the one in the tank soon, but we are going shooting at a high of 6.9 and a low of 6.35. So we did definitely accomplish the task with crushed oyster shell. It is not going to drive your pH through the roof unless you've got a very small system, then just go with a small amount and test regularly and play it safe. But with my system with maybe 500-ish gallons of water and a pound or two of crushed oyster shell, it took a week to get the pH up a full point and that's nothing, nothing to even worry about. You're not going to be hitting eight or nine unless you go with way too much shell and way too much and too small of a system. So, and uh, there you have it. So pH adjustment with oyster shells, great, simple, um, organic solution to do it. Um, make sure you just get crushed shells and not powdered. Otherwise it's going to dissolve right away. So thanks for following along and I hope we've learned something here.